Hello guys and welcome back to part 2 of how to create a safe and load system within Unity. So the first thing we are going to do is create another public static, only now a public state effect 3. Oh and before I forgot it, I zoomed in because some guys requested that. Just tell me if this is alright and well, just say what uh, you think about it. And so this is actually exactly the same as we did here. But now we're going to cut, of course, a little bit different. And also, we are um, going to add here the variable is a surfax3 and called s3. And for some reason, that's better. So, the first thing we're going to do is create a factor 3 and call this and a new factor 3. So now we are going to create uh, or actually change the variables just the same way we did here. And just because it's a little bit uh, faster, just copy this and just delete this letter and add here this letter. So I hope you understand that it's just exactly uh, the opposite of what's uh, happening here. And return the factor 3. So now we can also uh, change effect three, uh, or change uh, our own effect three to effect three. So the thing we're now going to do is create a new uh, public void load. So here you can uh, load stuff, and the very first thing it will do will check if if uh, you actually already saved something to this file or actually if it even exists. So you're doing that with file.exist. And well, this is just exactly the same as this, because it's the file we are going to use. So we just copy and paste it into here. Sorry, I think I messed up a little bit. Yeah, that's right, just like this and add this here. So now we are going to create a new binary format that looks really like the same like uh, saving. It's a little bit different, but we will see. A new bin binary format and also create a new file stream and well, I think you already guessed what it exactly is. What will actually open it? It will open this file. So, like this, and change our after file dot open. Now we are going to um, the data. We are going to so this file here. We're going to change it to the file itself. So like this. And they sorry size it and that's the file. So at the end we will close the file but there's just one thing in between because loading uh, everything to your file itself. So to uh, from your file to your game. And we're going to do this again in a new void. So uh, called public void copy load data and the first thing we're going to do is uh, clear the uh, the data in the list of um, of um, clear the data of the list data so well that was a hard uh, thing so just clear it um, I'm sorry, it's called um, list1. I'm very sorry. So we're going to clear list1 because uh, we are going to add it just as same as here and otherwise you will get everything that is already here. For example, if you're in the test or something, just to make sure that won't happen, just add this line. So um, for each int i within the data, 
dot list we are going to add it to um or i mean yeah in our data dot list we are going to add inside our list so just like this and um also change this variable to we're going to change our vector and data dot position now the last thing we're going to do here is just add this void and here we are also going to change a little bit by start we are going to uh, add that will save and normally you cut it uh, load i mean and uh, normally you cut it somewhere in the script just uh, somewhere else but whatever you want to do and also here um, i will just copy it here because it's not that important it's just if your input cat key down is q it will save q i mean and um that was it for this tutorial so i hope you guys liked it. if you did please leave a like or a subscribe and comment if you got any questions and i see you guys next week